Foregoing exploration is an interesting topic. Um, there's a couple of things that really go into why we would perform a four gland exploration on somebody versus go in for a single gland. I would say prior surgery in the neck certainly can be a limiting factor. Patient's body habitus, their medical status and how well they're doing under anesthesia, how big their thyroid is, and is it inflamed or is it a large goiter? How much body fat do they have and is it easy to access? Sometimes performing a four gland exploration is not so easy. There's also some people who going to the other side, say their nerve doesn't work to their voice box, and going to a, the other side where that nerve is working well might pose extra risk up front. So there's numerous situations where I don't think foregland hyperplasia is the surgery for everybody. I do often perform it. I think that most of the time it saves time in the operating room and provides some efficiency but there are situations where it's just not as practical to do it from the beginning. Of course, if the intraoperative PTH levels don't fall after removing a single gland, then you need to go around and look at all four glands. And I think anybody who's performing parathyroid surgery should be prepared to do that in every single case.